hello and welcome back or welcome if you're new if you're new here my name is elena i'm the homeschooling mom to three kiddos i'm trying to tidy up the desk i actually started cleaning like really cleaning my desk rearranging furniture all the things um because i don't know to me it's just not clean if you don't rearrange the furniture i guess but in the midst of that um we hit the holiday weekend and now i'm just gonna sit here and i kind of wanted to hang out in my planner and i thought i'd turn the camera on to hang out with you and get this done um, it's gonna be loud because everybody's home <laughs> which is great but also uh everybody's home and doing things today so i've got little ones that are upstairs i think they're gonna put a movie on and i've got haircuts and just just all kinds of stuff is happening so <laughs> sorry if uh there's maybe there'll be more music over it or something i'm not sure yet but like i said i wanted to i wanted to get in my planner and just decorate for next week i don't know i'm not looking forward to getting back to the grind as it is but i i do want to get in here because i printed out a couple of things i printed out these habit trackers these are from lovely planner it's a uh, free printable from her if you join her website or if you join her uh, email list she sends you a password and then you can look at her freebies and so it comes in two two different colors and it's just got like checklist three priorities meal planning and then two habit trackers so i kind of thinking already that i'm going to print it i mean i use it in a slightly different way and then <laughs> while i was on her website i found these these are so cute i just thought they were so fun and um today is technically the day after thanksgiving for me when i'm filming but it won't go up until probably the weekend but uh we had our first snow last night snow already came down so there's that. I don't know if I'm looking forward to the snow. I, I kind of was dreading it, but once it fell down and I opened up the, my kids actually came in, my younger son came in and said, mom, it snowed last night. And they were, they were ready to roll. They were ready to go out and play in the snow. Um, I was not quite, but they, uh, trying to figure out which one I want to use. I think the blue one would work pretty. Either of these pink ones maybe matches the cup let's try that uh and we're gonna try with scissors i don't know where my i'm not looking for my bigger cutter because i'm just being lazy actually not wanting to look for it but anyways so we had the first snow fall last night my kids came in and were mom <laughs> and uh I just thought that these little snowman hot cocoa stickers would be cute for that. Okay, camera battery died, and then um, the spare battery battery, the spare battery, ba the spare battery was also dead. It just, yeah. So I went ahead and cut out stickers while I was waiting for the battery to charge, and we're gonna lay some down, see what happens. As you can see here, I went ahead and I'm gonna put the habit tracker down here, can you use the weekly expenses? I love that she has this on her weekly kits, the weekly expenses, um, because it's something that I want to start incorporating and see if it will help with the budget. I have been struggling with our budget um, and tracking spending and things like that. And who considered, I talked to my husband and I thought, I said, you know, we're almost done with um, what we, um, I had to stop for a moment, so I kind of lost my train of thought, but I think I was just saying, I was talking to my husband and, um, we are pretty much almost, almost done with what we are going to be able to do for Christmas, um, spending wise. And so I'm like, should we attempt a no spend December? And, oh no, this is not going to fit. Um, I should have started from the bottom. So a no spend November, I mean, we still have to spend on groceries and things like that but a no spend in the sense that um, no extras, which is kind of hard for holiday month, but possibly, we'll see. We'll see what the rules we come up with for ourselves and if it's something that we think we can do. I'm gonna move this up a smidge too. <laughs> that, let me know, have you done a no spend month and um, were you successful? <laughs> so no spend you can make your rules like these are just things we're not going to be spending on and then go from there 
Okay, I think back to, we're back to the week and things have switched up for this week. So down here, I typically use it for menu planning. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, <laughs> like most videos, I've gotten stopped and started and I don't even remember where we're at. So let's just jump in again. Um, this will be fun to edit because I'm probably saying the same things over and over, but I just don't realize it because is a mess. I'm just gonna use what I have laying around and I'm gonna mark off a bottom portion here. Let's see if we can try to get them the same or close to the same. And down here is gonna be where I put my breakfast, lunch, and dinner, the meal plan for the family. Okay, I think I'm just gonna put some decor down first and then plop some stuff in later because I am finding it a difficult to think clearly. So let's, we for sure know when the weekend's happening. <laughs> we can put that down. And then these are so cute. I just think they're so fun. So we'll get some of these down and work around it. So I think I have the decor down. Um, we have extra appointments this week and then an appointment switch this week. <laughs> so my first kind of desire, I guess, for it was to put all of our appointments and um, my workouts up here because I wanna start treating my workouts like an appointment. But I didn't do it because I just started putting decor stickers down, so that didn't happen. So. Appointments are gonna go every which way. My next, with that thought, having it here, um, was to use this center box for homeschool things, um, just highlights of it. We can't fit, fit our whole homeschool schedule in here um, for all three kiddos, so just highlights of, you know, if there was something that day that needed extra attention, if we had a dissection to do, or if we had something a little more out of the norm that needed it here, then I would put it here. And then down here, I knew I was gonna use it for my meal plan, and then I thought this top one here would be for like mom things that I wanted to get done, such as planning, um, content creating, things like that, filming, editing, those kind of things could go here. But like I said, I went ahead and I put decor down instead. Um, so, and, and that's fine, I really like it. So I'm gonna um, go ahead and put in, I do, I do wanna change up a couple of things here. So let me see if I have any box stickers. So what I did here was, let me see if I can scoot you in. Um, I used this portion for a morning routine and you saw me open up the Fly Lady app and I kind of want to get back into that and doing it. <laughs> I just noticed my nails, I'm sorry. 
I just sat down. <laughs> I even did my nails in so long. Anyways, um, but I just picked off some of the um, top ones for me personally. So that would be to drink my water. Um, I have down 16 ounces, but the, the jar that I keep next to me is 24 ounces. So I'd want to make sure that I'm drinking water before coffee, 24 ounces. Um, Bible and journal time. Check my calendar for the day, start a laundry, and then walk. It is, like I said, snowing, so I'm not sure I'm gonna be doing outdoor walks very often, but I wanna get my walk in in the morning-ish because I notice if I put it off and say, I'm gonna do it in the afternoon or I'll do it um, later, later never comes. I left the top three priorities and actually I know what I wanna write here for my top three priorities for this week. So my priorities this week are going to be to make sure to get my workouts in and our budget to make sure that we're looking at our budget and all that thing. I'm gonna leave the last one blank because I feel like those two are big ones for me. I'm struggling with both and so I don't need to add a third one just because there's a third line. If something comes up during the week and I need to add it in, then I can, I have room, but for now we're just gonna leave those two. The PM routine, I went ahead and covered it. Um, this is kind of afternoon and evening. So make sure I get my workout in. I've been doing workouts. Usually in the winter, I switch it up to evening. So workout, I mean, switch it up to the afternoon. So workout, um, reboot the laundry, 15 minute declutter, gratitude and wins journal. I want to go back to this where I was writing down things that I'm grateful for and things that were wins for the day. It just really helps the mindset. And then um, check my calendar for the following days and make sure I set up my macros for the next day, meaning I make up my meal plan for what's for me. And then I have two habit trackers here. And so for the habit trackers, I'm going to use one for water. And I'm gonna say 90 ounces or more. And then this one I'm going to mark for journaling. And then just mark down if I did it. I could see if I can find something to cover this here, but I think I'm just gonna leave it. It doesn't really bug me too badly. So these are just reminders. Now, upcoming weeks, I may wanna make these habit trackers to see what days I do all these, but for now, that, that'll work fine. I also took out these stickers that I found from the Dollar Tree. So let's get in days that I want to work out. I think I need to get intentional about this. Um, it's getting colder and I know I keep talking about it, but like I'm struggling. There was a sticker here. It's so adorable. Where is it? This one. Tis the season to be freezing. Let it snow somewhere else. <laughs> I woke up and I actually, it just looked very Christmassy to me, um, which is nice, but I, I do, I'm still learning to love winters out here. Uh, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be a learning curve, it's fine. well for the week. Um, I went ahead and put in the stickers for workouts. That what we're, that's what we're looking at. Monday is my check-in day, so I have a little no excuses. And then I plan, God willing, to do strength training Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then Thursday will be just a cardio and stretch kind of day. And then the weekends, I usually don't do strength training unless my husband and I decide to throw in an extra one and work out. Um, you know, if we're trying to hit PRs or things like that, that's when the day I'll do it because he's there to spot me. But I put in these steps because the weekends have been really, I've not been getting my steps in. <laughs> so I added those in just so I could have that on the forefront. But I think that's where I'm gonna leave it and we'll see how it works for this week. Thanks so much for hanging out with me in this choppy video. Um, it's a never a dull moment around here, always kind of, even when you think it's gonna be quiet, it's not, but that's okay. I keep reminding myself that someday, like in the future, God willing, when my kids are grown and have their own babies and their own homes, and it is quiet, I'll probably be sad and miss these moments. So I better enjoy it now, right? <laughs>
Anyways, thanks so much for hanging out with me. And as always, if you don't know or you just need to be reminded, maybe the one to tell you you are deeply and truly loved and just so, so appreciated. I really appreciate you taking your time out and spending it here with me. Thanks for watching. Thank you.